Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this um, origami heart that can also be made into a garland. First of all you will need a piece of paper. I have used a piece from a magazine that is um, 14 centimetres by 11 centimetres. As you can see mine's just torn out of the magazine now when doing origami it's really important that your folds are precise and that they are um, folded down nice and firm so if you haven't got fingernails use the end of a pencil or something to, to go along the edge of the fold to make it nice and clear now I'm not going to pause between folds, I think the best thing for you to do is to pause um, your this video and then you can do the fold and then press play again otherwise this would be very long. So the first fold that we want to do is to take the top triangle down so that it meets up with the bottom of your piece of paper. So I'll do the fold down on the flat and then I'll lift it up and show you. So there we are, that's your piece of paper down like that. And then you want to open that back up and do exactly the same the other way. And there we go, and exactly the same the other way. And you open and then back up again. So then the next fold that we need to do is to fold this piece so that this line here matches the fold of this line here. So fold that over like that. There we go. Now that line folds up like that. Okay, and then we unfold that fold here. And then you want to take this side all the way down to match up with this side here. Like now you will find it easier to do it down on a flat surface. I'm just holding it up high so that you can um, see what I'm doing. So you should have a little fold there and a bigger fold there. So now I want you to take this bigger fold and fold it behind on the crease that you'd already made. Okay, so if you turn your piece of paper around, that fold has just gone from the front round to the back yeah so the front you've got your little fold and then nothing because your fold is now at the back and then unfold it and now comes the clever bit so hold it up with the little fold at the bottom and you will see that it will naturally push in so the two sides will naturally push in so that you can fold it down to make a triangle. I'll show you that again. You can see that what I'm doing is I'm just pushing it in at the side, both sides, and it will naturally push in and go down to make a triangle. So the next thing that I want you to do is to fold this point here needs to come up to this point here. Like There we go. So that point there has come up to that point there. And then you need to do the same with the other side. So that point comes up like that. So you've got like a little square or a triangle in the middle. Okay. And then you need to fold these edges in 
like that so that this edge here will match up with this edge here and this edge here will go right into the middle like that and the same with the other side yeah so that edge there has gone in to that edge there now that's what this side should look like now we need to turn it over and I want you to fold down so at the top you should have one triangle and then two pieces of a triangle. Now I want you to fold the top triangle down as far as it will go. I'll make the fold and show you. So that folds down as far as it will go. Yeah, so you've got a little gap down here and then that is in the middle okay like that and then these corners here we want to fold that corner up i'll make the fold and then and then show you so you want to fold this corner here so that it goes up into the middle so that you've got a line in the middle going all the way up all right well, can you see that one There we go, and do the same for the other side. Now this is where you can see it starting getting into a into a heart shape. Yeah, so I folded both of those up like that. And then the clever bit here is what you will see is you will see that there's a little pocket there. Let me show you that again. So if you fold down one of the corners in there you can see that there's a little pocket so that corner i need you to fold in and it should slot <laughs> she says it should slot into that pocket there we go okay and then the other side you can see there's a little pocket and then that that corner Sorry, I've just turned it around so that I can uh, see it. That corner will pop into that little pocket. And then just need to finish off making the little heart. So what I want to do now is this side here needs to run parallel to this side here. So we want to fold it down so you can see that not quite parallel there we go so this side let me just make that a bit clearer that side there is parallel to that side there and you can see that it's making the top of the heart and then we'll do the same with the other side yeah so you can see that that side is parallel with that side okay so we've got our little heart but we just need to finish it off so this little flappy bit here so you've got another little pocket there so this little flappy bit here will tuck let me do it and then I'll then I'll show you inside the little pocket okay so if I untuck it And then you can see that it tucks. Sorry, it's really tricky doing it back to front. <laughs> tucks in there. Oops, not quite. Okay, so that tucks in. And then we can do the same with the other side. That just tucks in into the little pocket there. And you've got your heart. So if you want to turn it into a garland, but what you need to do before you tuck these bits in you need to get your piece of string 
I'm going to put it over where the little tucks are. Then you can tuck it in. And in. And then it's on your little garland. If you want it to be a bit more secure, then uh, we don't normally use um, glue in origami. But obviously, if you want to make it a bit more secure, you can pop a little bit of glue underneath there, and then um, and then it won't come apart. But it really shouldn't. These aren't held by glue, and um, and that's your heart garland. And um, and also, what I've done with mine is I've made them using some actual coloured origami paper or you can use any paper wrapping paper um old books looks really sweet and um and then you can pop it on a bit of card and then you've made a really nice card for somebody so um happy folding <laughs>